You That's always drop us. us off with a banger right here. Oh my god, here it is. With this newfound strength, I will defend those who fight alongside me. Protecting my soldiers doesn't just mean having a robust defense in place. It means going on the attack. Oh the my god. The key to seizing victory in battle lies in remembering the meaning of battle. What the and employing the right tactics to generate momentum. Bro, I'm getting chills right now, dude. All right, Goro trying to solo this? I see you. We've been trying to apprehend him recently. There he is. He looks like Jiraiya. He won't get away this time. Just give yourself up, Arataki. A long time ago, I picked up this rare oh charm. It's very precious to me. When it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke. Ah, that idiot Oni. What did you say, little one? Go on. Say it to my face. Oh my god, dude. I want to roll for him. What it's the f- your time. Wait, is he kicking oh, his sword god. around? Step aside. Ito's back in town. He is literally. You had to fall. It's good fun. Shut up, would ya? Yo. Transcendent and miraculous are not the only things to which human beings aspire. They pursue the everyday, the ordinary, to a far greater extent than I would have ever imagined. This mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries, a vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. People are put off by the cold and don't realize that there is much to explore beneath the icy you exterior. here. Are you here to build a snowman too? Is that Timmy? Let's combine Wait, our forces what? And build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. What's on your mind? Are they trying to have a you Christmas event Christmas. here? What's going on? Some of my alchemy notes are missing. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. Uh oh. Dragon spine has become more dangerous than it used to be. Huh? Oh no! Avalanche! Albedo. What it was a trap. You think you were doing? What the fuck? What is that? Wait, Albedo's fighting us? What is going on? What? Wait, we're fighting Bennett's. We're fighting Albedo. Okay, gotta look good when you're killing your your foes. He summons a companion? Wait, what? Is that his E ability? That looks like it's ultimate. Which enhances his auto attacks, kind of like Noel, it seems. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Check, check, one, two, three. Arataki numero uno Ito here in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we doing? Talking about Ito's fighting style? Cool, let's get into it. Ito wields a claymore and manipulates the Geo element. He's strong, tough, reliable, a true Oni horn to toe. His normal attack performs up to four consecutive strikes. And when his second and fourth attacks hit opponents, Ito will gain stacks of superlative super strength. Hmm. Pretty cool name, huh? Oh, another thing to note is that Ito's normal attack combo won't reset for a short time after using his elemental skill or performing a sprint. Which means you can keep on swinging even after you move. Wait, that's when actually you crazy. Initiate then. a charged attack. You can use superlative strength stacks to perform Arataki Kesagiri slashes without spending any stamina. Each Arataki Kesagiri slash will consume one stack of superlative super strength. When the final stack is consumed, Ito will unleash an especially powerful attack. When no stacks of superlative super strength are available, Ito will perform a Saichi Monji slash. Oh, and most importantly, remember to keep your hairstyle as cool as possible, <laughs> when the wind keeps trying to mess it up. <laughs> After unlocking the talent Arataki Ichiban, which, by the way, means Ito's the best, 
When Ito okay. uses consecutive Arataki Kesagiri, his resistance to interruption greatly increases, and each slash causes the subsequent slash to have higher attack speed. So your slashes will keep getting faster and harder to stop. With another one of That's Ito's a really talents, good pass, Bloodline of the Crimson Oni, damage of Ito's Arataki Kesagiri is increased by a certain percentage of Ito's defense. When using his elemental skill, Wait, Ito hurls Ushi, the young Aka Ushi bull, at opponents, dealing Wait. geo damage. When Ushi hits opponents, it'll grant Ito one stack of superlative super strength. It looks so cute! Ushi also happens to be an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. Aw, isn't it cute? Can't, hold on, stop, anyway, pause. Uh, Did Ushi he just say is defense? considered a geo construct, and it'll remain on the field to taunt surrounding opponents and draw their attacks. But Ushi won't stick around forever. It'll flee when its HP drops to zero or its duration ends. Ushi also grants Ito one stack of superlative super strength when it takes damage and when it leaves. Next up, let's talk about Ito's Oni King form. After unleashing his elemental burst, Royal Descent, behold Ito the Evil, Ito lets his inner raging Oni King emerge, using his Oni King's Kanabo in battle. Yeah, you see that Macy swinging? During this state, Good Ito's Lord. normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to geo damage that cannot be overridden. The first and third combos of his normal attack will grant Arataki Ito himself one stack of superlative super strength when they hit opponents. Much like Noel. While in Raging Oni King state, Ito's elemental and physical resistance drop, but his attack will be increased based on his defense, and his normal attack speed will also be increased. Ito also has an exploration talent. Woodchuck chucked. When we have Ito in our party, we will have a chance to obtain an additional log of wood while <gasps> using attacks to collect wood from a tree. Let's go! So, collecting wood materials will be more efficient. Ito's pretty <sighs> slick, huh? Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone interact with Ito in our future adventures because that's big. <laughs> he's honestly a really fun character to voice. And those are all the inside deets about the one and only Arataki Ito. I love Zach, the voice actor for Ito. You. God damn. All right. Let's see what we got for Goro. Idle animation. Interesting. Uh, some kind of aura. A mark that's placed, a companion he summoned. What am I looking for here? Yeah, General that's what I want to know. of the Watatsumi Island Resistance wields a bow and holds a geovision. His elemental skill Inuzaka All-Round Defense deals AoE geo damage and sets up his General's War Banner. Aw, the dog pond the banner is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, well, this banner is more than just for show. It provides buffs to active characters within the ability's AoE based on the number of party members in field who are of the Geo element. So, what? for example, buffs for Geo when we only? have one Geo party member, it grants a defense bonus. When we have two Geo party members, in addition to the defense bonus, it increases resistance to interruption. And when we have three Geo party members, it adds a Geo damage bonus on top of the previous two bonuses we just mentioned. Okay, Are we about a co-op so four-man geo team? Is the more geo characters we have in our party, like I don't know, Albedo, the more buffs we gain from. I don't Goro's have that many geo skill. characters. Yes, that is correct. Uh, any characters who like defense and geo, and there's a few of them, would probably like that a lot. You know, you really and said finally, geo impact. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Koi. And finally, we have Goro's elemental burst, Juga Forward unto Victory. Unleashing his burst, Goro deals AoE geo damage and creates a field known as General's Glory. Just like his elemental skill, the field provides buffs to active characters according to the number of geo party members. What's special about this field is that it moves together with your active character and periodically generates a crystal collapse which deals AoE geo damage to one opponent within its AoE. After unlocking the talent Heedless of the Wind and Weather, Goro's elemental burst also increases all party members' defense. And another one of Goro's talents, a favor repaid, grants damage bonuses to Goro's elemental skill and elemental burst based on his defense, which is great because I love seeing characters using different stats. Wow, so that's all really cool. 
But I have to admit that little sidekick of his is so cute. Look at how it waves its banner alongside Goro. It's like I, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy. Hey guys, focus. Come on. I will be its friend. <laughs> <laughs> so aside from his combat related talents, Goro also has a pretty useful exploration talent called Seeker of Shinies. Seeker yes, of what? that's Seeker of Shinies. The shiny. It's amazing and it's adorable. Yes, Seeker I of totally Shinies. understand that. This talent displays the location of nearby resources unique to Inazuma on the mini map while you have Goro in your party. Oh my goodness, let's go seek some shinies. <laughs> it's gonna be so handy when we're farming materials in Inazuma. All right, I already know where they all yep, are so anyways. You guys like Goro, sound pretty good? Yes. Very good. The event wishes for version 2.3 are gonna be a little different from previous versions. This time, we will be opening two character event wishes at the same time during what? the earlier phase of version 2.3. They're actually they running two Albedo's reruns! Secretum Secretorum and Eula's Born of Ocean Swell. We talked about this! Okay, so both Albedo and Eula's rerun will be available at the same time, that means. We talked about running two reruns at the same well, time. Oh, yeah. Well, also in the later phase of version 2.3, the character event wish Oni's Royale will become available, featuring our two new characters, Arataki Ito and Goro. I'm guessing many of our viewers might be curious about the first two rerun event wishes, so why don't we give some more details? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, with each version update, we've met many new companions in our journey. So some new players might want to get limited characters from previous event wishes, but it's probably gonna take a long time before they see their favorite character return. After collecting and considering player feedback, the devs have decided to push reruns forward when the timing fits the version content. So, coming back to the two concurrent character event wishes in version 2.3, both will actually share the same cumulative pull count toward the five-star drop guarantee, which means any pulls you make on one of the character event wishes will also count towards the other. So, for example, if you pulled 50 times on Albedo's Secretum Secretorum and didn't gain a single five-star character, then you are still guaranteed to gain at least one five-star character in the remaining 40 pulls on Eula's Born of Ocean Swell. There will be more information in an upcoming announcement with more details on these new wish mechanics. Ito's story quest, Taurus Iracundus, will be added in the new version for travelers to explore. Both Goro and Beto will be receiving their very own hangout events in version 2.3. They keep doing hangouts. That's Let's right. go, Players baby. Get an inside look. Some new weapons and artifacts in version 2.3. Wait. The new five-star claymore, Redhorn Stone Thresher, Wait, why new artifacts? will be appearing what the fuck? in one of version 2.3's weapon event wishes. Also, the new artifact sets, Husk of Opulent Dreams and Ocean Hued Clam, will become available in the new version. And that's our new open world boss, the Golden Wolf Lord. Dude. Whoa, <laughs> spicy puppy snake. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of grappling with like wanting to fight it and wanting to pet it. I don't really know. What I'm going doing. to make it my uh, Golden Wolf friend. <laughs> oh, did you guys see the tornado too? I'm like, oh, I better not get hit with that thing. <laughs> yeah, seeing that just made me feel windy. Easy iframe. Also, players will be able to challenge this abyssal beast at any time. Shadows amidst snowstorms. Do we have a new sword? This event, and I'm assuming this is the uh, yeah, the ascension the material. Training on Dragon Spawn. free weapon. They plan to have seasoned adventurers pairing up with newer recruits. After this event ends, travelers can complete the related world a new gadget to obtain a got. brand new gadget called the Omni Ubiquity Net. <laughs> That's quite a name. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Unlike so you can the bring from the event this upgrade bring animals to your has been modified using Onmyodo. It is said it can like capture the ball. essence of smaller creatures before using the net itself as a medium to replicate their forms. So what you're saying is, we can keep pets with it. <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> we can use the net as a way of recreating animals that we meet in the open world and place them in our Serenity Pot. Genshin but Impact is now Pokemon. Is I can be like Draft or Timmy and have an army of pigeons at my disposal. 